Okay, we need to balance it out, don't we? That's what I felt back then. In the year 2001-2002, my brother went for an exchange here to Barcelona. Uh, it was actually a little bit dark times because all my friends seemed to be going somewhere and there were not too many friends left at home to be around. So yeah, it was a little bit depressive for me. But my brother came back and he was there in Barcelona and when he asked me uh, for cruises, what do I want? And I said, honestly, I really want a Barcelona shirt. Um, I bought him a Barcelona shirt in 99. So uh, when I was visiting Barcelona uh, before and yeah, so I knew he has Barcelona shirts and actually this, that, that was a centenary shirt that I really would like to have now too. That was a great looking jersey. And then Barcelona really played well. This was the first year in Louis van Gaal uh, with a lot of Dutch players, but that was a great team. And yeah, but Real Madrid has won the Champions League in the meantime uh, twice, but still Barcelona had the nice style. I mean, but this was a Barcelona team that was kind of um, typical Barcelona. A lot of style, a lot of substance, but not good enough to be dominant. Uh, and that was always a little bit the charm of Barcelona. So I asked him, please, I want to get a Barcelona shirt. And uh, the reason I didn't have one yet is because the first Nike version, I really did not like. It was just um, red with the two thinner blue stripes. It, and I was visiting Barcelona around the time. It just didn't look right to me. Um, my brother back then had actually, he spent a few weeks in summer there and we visited Barcelona. Yeah, and I always went, went, went to the store and I couldn't get myself to buying the shirt and the one that I really liked, it was a present to my brother and I hope he still has it because that was a great shirt, the Centenary shirt. But yeah, for Christmas in 2001, I got this one. And I was happy because it fulfilled a few requirements that I wanted. I was not happy that it was still worn with the darker shorts, but yeah, it had the nice shirt color. This is the first thing. And it had the classic Barcelona stripes. The one thing that didn't bother me at the moment, but kept bugging me the longer I didn't have another Barcelona shirt is that the crest was centered. But honestly, this is a great design. Um, even taking into account the darker color. And uh, he also gave me the pants for cruises, so I'm still thankful for that one. Uh, it's also, I had the league logo and Spanish teams now get the league logo with it. Uh, I just love it. I also love that the all the alternating sleeves here. Uh, we have one in red and we have one in blue. The one, the only one gripe is that I like the golden outline because it's also mirrored on the pants below and makes actually for a nice connection here with the crest. And this is still with the pre-copyrighted crest. I actually prefer this one over the more current one that we'll see soon. But the gold strap are here and there's nothing here on the back. I think it was being worn with golden numbers. So it kind of looks a little, little bit weird here. I think there should be another outline. Then this would be perfect. I really like this one. And I'm happy to say I wore this one even in New Camp, Camp Now. Uh, I think it, we saw uh, Barcelona against um, Deportivo La Coruña. La Coruña still had Rivaldo and I know it was a 3-2, La Coruña taking the lead twice and then Kleibert scored the winner. That was a great game. Uh, I've seen a few games in Camp Nou, uh, this was the best one of them. Absolutely the best one. Uh, thanks to my brother being in Barcelona, I could actually go to Barcelona a few more times myself. So yeah, I have more connections to Barcelona and I'm happy to have this. The one thing I have to give Real Madrid over Barcelona is that Barcelona has a strap jersey. I love strap jerseys, but uh, if you're the royal team, the white is just a better look. It looks cleaner. Still, as far as Barcelona jerseys go, I love this one. Uh, it also has, the material is kind of weird. This is kind of um, very uh, smooth fabric, but then on the side, it's more like a ventilated fabric. Uh, yeah, Nike. And I wanna say, this is, now I have to get my facts straight. I think this is my third Nike jersey. And yeah, fortunately Barcelona got one with a nice color. I wish that this was a, there was a button or whatever, but yeah, minor details. 
as I said, um, I like this, the classic colors and I, I still think these are the colors that Barcelona should have. So uh, this is my so-called classic Barcelona jersey. Well, let me know what you think about this jersey. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.